Hey guys, I'm Gus, creator of Kindle Flashcards, and I'm gonna show you how to transform your Kindle vocabulary into personalized ink flashcards using this GPT. So I think that you noticed that this guy is built inside of ChatGPT. So you're going to need to have ChatGPT Plus to access it. Maybe the future will not be necessary, but right now all the GPTs are only available inside of ChatGPT+. So after this little disclaimer, let's start it. Uh, first, we are going to need to get our Kindle vocabulary. So you're going to connect your Kindle to your PC and get this vocab.db file. You just go to your PC to get this file, Kindle, and then just search for vocab and then you'll have your file. Pretty easy. So you can just send the file. The GPT will already know what to do with this. He's going to start to plot a lot of books here. And as you're going to notice, I'm going to try to be as concise as possible with this chat, because if we have a lot of conversation with it, he's going to lo lose his track. So it is important to be concise because the window of context of ChatGPT is not that, that long. So uh, it is good to not have big conversations with it. Okay, here's the list. I think we are on a peak because it is very slow, the chat GPT right now. Okay, I already have the book that I want. That is this first one, the, the second one. So I'm going to say just two. If you want better explanations about this process, uh, you can check it out or a repository. Here you're gonna see all the features, introductions, all the steps, every single step it is well explained here. And uh, I think it is better explained, uh, especially because as you can guess, I'm not a native speaker, a native English speaker. So uh, here it's going to have insights of everybody, not only me. So I think it is, and it is being updated constantly. And this video, it is a static video. So yeah, just another little disclaimer. So here we have three words that I didn't know in, in this book. And uh, here he's asking uh, to provide him instructions on how he must proceed to create this flashcard. So you have two options. You could just write your instructions or create explanations for me uh, in that in that way. Or you could go to this repository and go to the front end instructions and open a pull request, adding your own explanation. Here I have my own explanation, so I don't need to copy and paste every single time. I just sent to him instruction 001. So I'm going to say to him 001, and he's going to get this full explanation that I already uh, I read post here, I read put here, uh, having here the direct explanation that I, I always want to know what is the meaning of that and an analogy to make it easier for me to understand in that concept. So here we need to allow him to get this, this uh, instruction. Okay, here we already have our direct explanation as it is uh, configured here and our simple analogy as it is here. Perfect. So would you like to, to proceed with more words or need a specific form format? Uh, please proceed with more words. Okay, now we have two words, three words, and you can go uh, on your own rhythm and you could just go to next step without proceeding to the next words. I usually do this, but 
it is not necessary because uh, your main goal here, it is to import into Anki or a similar app. It is not to just plot here on the chat, right? So you could just uh, send to him like that template 001. And then instead of plotting on the chat, he's going to get your template here. Or you could just say, oh, use this template instead of, uh, instead of putting a number. And you could use uh, the Ankh basic, close the Ankh template, or build your own template. But I use this word definition context template. And now he's going to build these flashcards on my own template so I can import on my own format on my Anki. So this is the important part because we don't want to just copy the stacks from this chat. We want to do everything automatically. So here we have our words already in this format that I, that I specified. As you can see here, we have a tab is not a space as is here that is space. It is smaller. Look, this is a tab. And this is important because on ink, at least when you're importing a file, you need uh, this to be on tab to separate the columns. Uh, another important fact here, it is that if you, uh, I recommend you to not be so in a, uh, emphatic on breaking lines because if for some reason he had to break a line here on simple analogy but to separate simple analogy uh, to the direct explanation you would have a problem because it would break all the format of your template right because you want them to be like this you want them to be in this order right and you don't want to like have the direct explanation uh, here and then simple analogy here. Uh, so it would break the format. Of course, in some applications, you need one line to be in one way and other line to be in another, another way, but that is not the case of Anki. Uh, if you need, okay, you can do it, but uh, I recommend if you're trying to focus on Anki to not be so fast, uh, to not put so much effort on breaking lines on your instructions and your deck template. Okay, as you notice, he append this context on a file here and he didn't immediately uh, give it to a file like uh, an coding thing like this because when we are working with huge files, like for example, if I had a thousand of words here on my book that I didn't know, I would be I wouldn't be able to download everything because the window of context of ChatGPT it is pretty it is pretty short. It is not that short, but it is it is not huge. Let's say in this way. So if you start adding a lot of information there, you are going to last track of it, and the file is going to be very chaotic. Because of this, I built this API, so he's going to add every single time every iteration in this file that he's already created here with a random, random name. Let's see how he created. The link is broken for some reason. Uh, if this happens to you guys, you can just go here to oh this one. API and then you can put slash download slash the name of the file. And then enter He's going to download it. And now we have the words that we want. We have tantalize, swear and skulk. So now I want him to add more words because I know that this, uh, this book had more words than just three. Please add more words that had in this vocab file. With its context. 
and explanations. So he could already import this file, but I want him to add more words. Okay, he's going to extract additional words and context. Here we had a problem. Okay, let's see what he made wrong. I don't know. Now it worked for some reason. Okay. Now we have more words here that I didn't know. I'm going to try to not make any crops on this video just to show you how it is the use because errors can happen like this and I'm trying to be really clear of what can happen while you are chatting with him. If this, uh, this could happen and a lot of tentatives and you just would need just retry, okay? Uh, sometimes this happens and if you retry, it works. This is not on my control because uh, Working with ChatGPT is like working with an expert, but he's drunk, right? Okay, now he's going to add this. Uh, just another thing, if for some reason you want him to do different things. I, I want him to not follow directly your guidelines. I want him to be a little bit different. You could go here on AI, GPT, and see the guidelines that he's do, using right now. This is his guidelines. You could even create your own guideline and like put here feedbacks about it, if how we could improve using our, your own guideline. Or you could just copy your guideline and paste it and he will follow because we have here uh, an option, user provide new guidelines. User can provide new guidelines when this have just ignore the above and follow it. So you could uh, do whatever you want, but I recommend you to do it inside of this chat because in this chat, you're going to have access to these APIs. And this is the important part, especially to append text on this file, because if you're not appending on an external API, you're going to have problems uh, working with uh, huge files. Okay. Uh, let's see if I, oh, I was low, I didn't. Let's copy again, so the link, because the link is broken. So here, slash download, slash the name. And by the way, if you made a new guideline and you think that is better than the current one, you can just open a new issue on this repository and showing us why it is better. And I will be happy to update the GPT to use your guideline as the default. Okay. So here we have downloaded the file. Okay. Now we have much more words here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, one thing that I'm a little bit afraid Okay, I read say I always check the files. Is this simple analogy if it doesn't have any breaks here? I think it is not a break because I read had problems this in the past. I always recommend you to check if you have any breaks that would break the the structure, but I think it is not the case because it is going until the end of the line. Okay. So let's try to import inside of our ANC application. Here we have import. Uh, 
here I'm going to change to the real name, right? To be accessible to the to the N key. Okay, here we have tantalize, swear, uh, scope, uh, do I piles. So, okay, perfect. And we have the explanations. They are working perfect. I'm going to tag all of them as Kindle flashcards test just to be able to find them easily. I just need to change here to instead of basic, basic Kindle. And then here I want to change here and change here. This is my format. Okay. Uh, you could even add with some HTML. The format is yours, so you can change the template as you want, as you wish. In my case, I didn't put any HTML. So import, we imported 10 rows. Perfect. Let's see, take a close look here. We have the word, we have the front, we have the back. Perfect. I'm going to check here in tags. Kindle always oh, not appearing here. Here I realized that I did not set the text properly and I had a really hard time trying to find these new cards. So I would just speed up the video until I found these new cards. Here it is uh, without the tags, as I mentioned. Uh, here we have tags as as we uh, here we have, I have more words without tags that I had before, I think so, because there are more than 10, one, two, three, four, five, uh, there are for sure more than 10, but here we can see that I read add, uh, for example, piles, piles, I remember there was here, so we can see piles, we can see, we, we can see do eyed we can see scope so we can see that all the words were added here uh tantalize so i have a lot of words that i i read had added in the past so i have a lot of duplicated words as well so sorry for this trouble on showing you on anki but as you can see it was added right so it's just that i my tag didn't work as, as expected, but the importation worked well. It wasn't fault of the file. It is something that is on my own key that is not working perfectly. So yeah, so here you have your cards with your front, your word, your back. You can use it, all instructions that you want, all the deck plate that you want. So just remember if you want to add instructions, you just follow the IDs here, so everybody can add your own IDs and be easier for them to follow the, the to chat with the Kindle flashcards. The same applies to the deck template, it to the guidelines here. Just follow the dot contributions file that it is in the root of this repository and it will have all the explanations there and I just will accept your pull requests and you will be able to use these features. Um, and it was this. Thank you guys for having me and enjoy having your Kindle flashcards uh, flash automated.